Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This is going to be for love and career and finance. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Let's see what the love messages are for Aquarius. And I do have a dryer going and it's kind of loud. So uh, please forgive that. So let's go. All right, let's see. Aquarius love. All right, so four wands. For some of you, you're in a really stable relationship, maybe with who you may um, deem as your soulmate, twin flame. Some of you, if you're single, just, you have a real high self-esteem right now. Things are going away. You're at the precipice or ex excuse me. All right. So let's rewind here. When I was shuffling off camera, I got the word of the day and it was crescent or it is crescent, crescent, like crescent moon, uh, the waxing or the crescent moon. So uh, the definition of crescent, of crescent, of course, is, uh, you know, a slither a shape or something shaped like a slither of the moon. But also the literary uh, de adjective is increasing. So something is increasing. Um, so for you, Aquarius, your self-esteem, something could be increasing to the point where maybe you're going to find your four of wands, you're happily ever after, you're going to get married, you're going to find your person. This card could sometimes indicate even reunion, if that is what you're looking for. If that is not, this could even indicate meeting someone new and your self-esteem being high, not just because you look great, but you feel great. You've done the healing work. Things are increasing for you, Aquarius. Uh, let's see. One more card for love for Aquarius. Wow. We've got the lovers and the eight of, I said the eight of wands, the strength card. This strength card is an eight. Um, so we've got the lovers and the strength card here. So we have some, we have all three yes. So if you have a question out there, the answer is yes. For some of you, if you've already met your person and you wonder if this is the person that you should really be putting your time, energy, effort behind, the answer is yes. It says that um, the lovers sometimes can be about timing too, right place, right time, meeting your specific person and choosing that soulmate journey and knowing that it is a journey and knowing that the both of you have to choose this. As long as you feminine energy, and that could be man or woman, however you identify, but you, feminine energy, as long as you are tied into the universe and to spirituality, then you're going to be on the right path in terms of meeting your potential uh, life partner, soulmate, um, twin flame. Okay. So what you need not to be doing is out here looking, you need to be looking to the heavens, um, making sure you're making your requests known, your prayers. Um, I had, I heard ask it and, and you shall receive, um, the lovers here because your person is already, especially with the masculine energy, they're already looking for a, a counterpart. So as long as you are plugged into the universe, uh, because this person is plugged into the world and when they come to you, they'll see you and you'll have something divine about you. Okay. Uh, so don't be too focused on more so, uh, out here looking, especially if you're a feminine energy or, or too focused on putting yourself, uh, or, or ex increasing the probability for yourself uh without being being centered or grounded in some type of spirituality because it's easy for all of us to meet someone but are we meeting the right someone so what, what i'm trying to say is you shouldn't be on the prowl just be you and be grounded in whatever spirituality you choose to be grounded in the strength card it says that yeah Maintain your emotional balance and focus here. You can meet the perfect counterpart or whom you will deem as the perfect counterpart with the love in terms of love. The strength card also says, um, you gotta be strong and wait patience too. This is about control, but it's like soft control. Some of you, especially a feminine energy, you need to watch what you say or watch what you're saying or watch how maybe direct you are. Uh, you might need to scale it back. Also, if you're saying that you want something or somebody new, you need to cut off the old. 
it's like somebody is in between and that's what the crescent moon is about in between you know it going to either the new moon full moon excuse me the full moon um so it's like you're in between and you need to cut off the old so you can go to newness here with the queen of swords here it's like you're right in the midst of something new yeah wow the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck like you really need to be dead you need to be not dead but you need to dead some situation like it's done it's over every time you got this you got devastated disappointed heartbroken the relationship was super volatile you just didn't know what you were going to get somebody was overly dramatic played the victim whether it was you or the other person or it was mutual that is what you'll get from that relationship you'll get nothing more and nothing less so you need to understand that this is over if you allow it to be over you could stay in it but you're not going to get anything else out of this uh sa says the cards okay and you need to be like the queen of swords she understands old new and she understands the in between she is a, either needs to let go of the old so she can go to the to the new or you can stay in between where you're going backwards and forwards okay and really getting nowhere imagine if your car kept going in reverse like this, then you would go nowhere. And this is how some of your love lives are going because you go back to certain situations, people, places, things, maybe even new people, but it's the same situation. It's because maybe you haven't learned lesson. You, you know, you're engaging with no intention, blah, 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 whatever. But um, it's like um, for some of you, you need to really sever ties with the old so that you can have new uh, because you're like that car continuously going in reverse, never going in drive or completely just reversing and staying there or driving forward. You know, so it's just like you got to determine what it is you want to do. For some of you, um, it looks like uh, you can have for some of you, you met someone new and it looks like it can go very well for you. All right. You can have what you want there. Just got to make sure that um, you're putting in the work and the other person is putting in the work. Let's see what career and finance offers us. Career finance for the Aquarius. Very nice. The two of cups. So you'll get a, your partner with or you'll get an offer or something that is mutually beneficial. You'll be valuable to this job, to this, um, to this contract. Also, <clears throat> there's a, a level of value again. It could come around the Leo season. You got the strength card, and then we got that lion showing up here. It could come around the Cancer season too. Some this also could be commerce. You know, if you're gonna partner with someone, and it's going to this could even be e-commerce. You're doing something over the web. Uh, this is how you you sell. It could be hand to hand, but it's something about commerce too. You have something that um, the other person wants and, and they give you money for it, or whatever the exchange is. So it looks like if you're looking for a job or you're looking for an offer that fits you perfectly, you will find it, okay? You have six of pentacles, things will be balanced within whatever, um, whatever partnership, whatever offer is made to you, it's gonna be balanced, it's gonna be fair, it's gonna bring you a lot of harmony. Maybe within your finances here with the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Let's see. The Four of Cups. I don't know if you're if you're not going to take to it or you're not going to understand that um, with the Four of Cups here that this is a blessing. Maybe uh, it's cloaked in. It could be cloaked, like you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. You're too busy looking at what was and not seeing that this is a blessing. This is a gift from the heavens. Or maybe someone will be looking at you like that. Yeah, maybe because you have to sh completely uproot yourself, shift focus, shift your focus, or go from one dynamic to the other, either from employee to employer or employer to employee. So it's like a, a major change, a major transition nine of wands you're still looking at what was you're still looking at if you can still engage in something else that you were engaging in maybe you're taking a step back with the nine of wands it even talks about being non-committal not committed to nine of cups wanting to do something single and, and solo 
But yeah, this would be like entrepreneurial endeavor with the Ace of Wands showing up, the Two of Swords. So it's like you're not sure if you should cut off maybe your full time nine nine to five and really go after this funny crescent moon. It's like you something is increasing. Okay, maybe the longing, the opportunity, the uh, the motivation, the thoughts of doing something creative for work and getting paid for your product. It says the universe is shining bright on you and you're in direct alignment with where you should be. It's just that there's a delay here, but there is a yes answer. You need to gain more knowledge because this will give you confidence and you'll take the fear out of moving forward. That'll take the fear out of moving forward because you'll have confidence. And then you can start this new thing, create this new thing, live a life of creativity, abundance, giving, being open. Wow. And then the emperor coming to some greater level of understanding, expertise in your field, in your study. Things that move fast for you. Then you can have that, that change in uh, maybe career. So some of you need to do the work in terms of learning more about what entrepreneurial, what that endeavor looks like, what you need, how much money you need. I mean, you need to really get detailed about it with the page of swords here. That's why something is stalled and, and it's like, there's a hold up here. Um, there's a lack of money too, maybe even confidence in yourself. You're, you're getting answers, but they're half answers or they're not really answers. Maybe to some contracts uh, or contract being signed or finalized. You don't want to miss the opportunity for something and the way you miss it is that you you're waiting for money to come in or you're waiting for something to come in and if the money doesn't come quote unquote on time then you miss the opportunity yep so this is what i have for you aquarius i hope that it resonates for you if it does let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there Book a reading for yourself there. You can also donate to the channel by buying me a coffee. Yep, the link is below if you want to take advantage of that. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tuesday and Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where you can come ask questions, uh, listen to the collective reading. During the live sessions, questions, uh, you can ask questions, I will answer them. The cost varies. If I am not live and you text the number below because you want a question answered, the cost is dis different, okay? So it's more so trying to get you to come to the live session, participate so that you can get um, a discounted question, okay? Any other time you ask me a question, they are, it's not gonna be the same price, all right? Um, please do not just send me money blindly don't do that i will not return it i made a lot of refunds at this point i'm making no refunds so if you send me money i am not live i am not answering questions uh you sent the wrong amount uh you didn't follow up whatever the the, the situation may be thank you for the contribution thank you for the donation it will be put to good use for the channel i am not refunding money Okay, hey, it has to be strict circumstances of why you will get a refund. But if you just send me money blindly, I'm not re refunding it. Just thank you. Um, I think those are all the announcements. Uh, thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.